Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, segment uh, CD inside uh, this triangle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, CAD is uh, 4x, the angle uh, ACD is uh, 2x and finally this angle uh, CBD is uh, 3x. And moreover, this uh, segment uh, AB is uh, equal to this uh, segment uh, CD. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And here's our very first uh, concept, the isosceles uh, triangle. In this uh, given uh, triangle uh, ABC, if this side length uh, AB is equal to this side length uh, AC, then this uh, triangle is going to be an isosceles uh, triangle. And moreover, the angle opposite to this side, I'm going to call this angle uh, alpha. And this uh, angle opposite to this side, I am going to call angle uh, beta. Then uh, these uh, two angles, alpha and beta, are going to be congruent uh, as well in this uh, isosceles triangle. And now let's go over the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle uh, of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this given uh, diagram. Here our uh, angle uh, C is uh, exterior angle, whereas uh, angle alpha and beta are our opposite uh, interior angles, such that uh, this angle C equals to A plus B. And here's an example. This is going to be our exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these two opposite uh, interior angles. 50 degrees plus 60 degrees. If we add these two numbers, they are going to give us 110 degrees. So therefore, in this example, 110 degrees is our exterior angle. And now let's go over the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. As you can see in this uh, example, this uh, angle is 70 degrees, this angle is uh, 60 degrees. Then this uh, third angle has got to be 50 degrees, such that if we add uh, all uh, three angles, that must uh, add up to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And now since we have been given only these uh, three angles, and uh, a b equal to c d so therefore we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram i have uh, extended uh, this line uh, a d all the way to this uh, point uh, e and then i connected uh, this uh, point e with this uh, vertex uh, c such that we assume that this uh, angle uh, AEC is uh, 3x. Same like uh, this uh, angle, they are now congruent. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem once again. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles. As you can see in this uh, diagram, this angle C is our exterior angle whereas uh, these angle uh, A and B are uh, our opposite uh, interior angles such that C equals to A plus B. And here in our case uh, this uh, 4x is going to be our uh, exterior angle and that must be equal to this uh, opposite interior angle plus uh, this uh, opposite uh, interior angle as well. So this angle has got to be angle uh, X. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, ACE turns out to be X. And now let's make an observation. We can see that our uh, side length uh, AB equal to CD. Let's assume that uh, this uh, CD length uh, is uh, lowercase a. Then our uh, this uh, segment uh, AB is going to be lowercase a as well. 
and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ECB and we can see that this uh, angle is uh, 3x uh, and this uh, angle is 3x uh, as well so therefore we conclude that this is an isosceles uh, triangle so therefore its opposite uh, side length uh, this side length uh, is going to be congruent uh, to this uh, opposite uh, side length uh, this uh, one so therefore our this uh, side length uh, ec turns out to be equal to this uh, side length uh, bc as you can see over here and here's our next step let's focus now on this uh, triangle uh, ecd and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, angle is going to be the sum of uh, this angle x uh, plus 2x that is going to become uh, angle uh, 3x and now we can see that this uh, angle is uh, 3x in this triangle and this uh, angle is uh, 3x uh, as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle ECD is an isosceles triangle so therefore the side opposite to this uh, angle uh, CD this uh, side uh, must be equal to the side uh, this one that is opposite to this uh, angle 3x if this uh, side length uh, CD is uh, lowercase a then our uh, this uh, side length uh, ED is going to be lowercase a as well so therefore our this uh, side length uh, ED is uh, lowercase a as you can see in this uh, equation CD equals to ED and both are equal to a and here's our next step I have uh, copied down uh, this uh, triangle uh, EDC over uh, here as you can see and likewise uh, I have copied down this uh, another triangle uh, ABC over here as well and now let's go ahead and compare these uh, two triangles we know that this uh, angle uh, CED is uh, same as this angle uh, CED. This angle uh, ABC is uh, same as this angle uh, ABC which is 3x. These two side length uh, EC and uh, BC are congruent. As you can see this is uh, EC and BC. And finally this uh, side length uh, ED is uh, lowercase uh, a and this uh, AB length uh, this one uh, is uh, lowercase a as well so therefore we conclude that uh, these uh, two triangles uh, EDC and uh, triangle ABC are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to side angle uh, side uh, congruency theorem as you can see side uh, angle uh, side likewise uh, side uh, angle uh, side as well and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, BAC angle is 4x so therefore uh, this angle uh, BAC is uh, 4x and since uh, these two triangles are congruent uh, so therefore uh, this uh, angle uh, EDC is going to be 4x uh, as well and since uh, this uh, angle uh, EDC is 4x uh, so therefore this angle uh, EDC is going to be 4x uh, as well and here's our final step let's focus now on this uh, triangle uh, ACD and now let's recall uh, triangle sum theorem once again the sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore in this triangle uh, ACD the sum of uh, these three angles uh, 4x uh, 2x uh, and 4x uh, must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore let me go ahead and write down uh, 4x uh, plus uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 4x uh, must be equal to 180 degrees let's combine the like terms on the left hand side that is going to give us uh, 10x uh, equals to 180 degrees let's go ahead and divide both sides by 10 to isolate x so this 10 and 10 is gone so therefore uh, our uh, 
angle X turns out to be 18 degrees. So thus our X value turns out to be 18 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.